And my role is to lead on cohort studies, which is studies of patient groups, patient populations, and in particular the TILDA study, which is the Irish Longitudinal Study on Aging, where we have a six to eight year follow-up on 8,000 people over the age of 50. And we're particularly focusing on the factors that influence the aging process, particularly brain function and cardiovascular function. The beauty of studies like the longitudinal study is actually enabling really quick translation of findings into policy and practice. We already have good examples of that. For example, we've shown that in Ireland, one in five men over 80 have atrial fibrillation, the, one of the commonest causes of Alzheimer's disease. Two thirds didn't know that they had this irregularity. And we've now communicated that fact and the high risk groups to the government and we're working on screening programs in general practice and community nursing programs to identify people at risk and treat this treatable, modifiable cause of dementia. So it's understanding what we know now um, are treatable causes but getting them earlier but then also developing um, strategies to find new biomarkers, new causes, new paradigms that we can apply to this, these patients, people. But it isn't just about drugs and it's not just about starting or stopping drugs. It's also very much about creating a society that better understands brain health, better understands aging, is more tolerant of the aging process. And you know, an Ireland that's good to grow old in is an Ireland that's much better for everybody.